Hello, Glamazons. It's me, and I am on camera. Long time no see. I uh, hope you all are doing well. Thank you for all of you that have taken the time to write me and contact me. Happy Labor Day. I am filming this on Labor Day because I actually have a day off. It's ridiculously hot in here right now. Like, I am burning up. Anyway, what is this video about? I'm probably going to film multiple videos, but this video is going to be about jewelry. <laughs> what else is it about? So anyway, I got some necklaces from a website and I wanted to share with you guys because this is something a little different for me. Um, I tend to buy the same type of style of things over and over again. And so this time I decided to step out of the box and try something new and share my results. So I have two necklaces and a pair of earrings from trendyfashion.zone and before you all freak out I'm going to include the link below and if you use code Luna in April you will get a discount on your order. The items that I chose were handmade. Um, there are items there that are not handmade but again I wanted to try something different and so I went on the website and to be quite honest a lot of it isn't my style. I like big sparkly this more sparkle the better you know I'm not really a beads person per se um, I'm not usually that person who's into handmade jewelry um, you know but I said you know what screw it let me give it a chance you know let me let me try it out and I was very pleasantly surprised uh, the items were much better than they appeared on the website so let's just jump right into it I have stuff right here. Okay, so my item arrived in pretty decent time. Um, you know, there was an issue with the postage at first, so the seller had to resend me the items, which is fine. You know, stuff happens, I understand. But I assume if that glitch wouldn't have happened, the shipping would have been really quickly. It would have been really quick. <laughs> I haven't done this in a long time, so forgive me. It's been a long time since I've been on camera, and my phone still manages to go off the second I decide to film. But anyway, my items came in these red pouches here, which are actually kind of cute and reusable, just saying. And so the first necklace that I got that I want to show you guys, I picked was this beautiful statement necklace and if you follow me on Facebook you will have seen that I was wearing this so here it is this is handmade it's on a beaded chain it's very pretty those are pearls there and okay so this is very heavy like it's much heavier than I thought it was going to be you know because when I was looking at it on the website I'm like mm, I don't know I was like this looks kind of cheap and I'm like Ugh, I don't know this is my style but then when I got it oh my god like it's so nice and heavy and it's comfortable and here's the back like there's even felt on the back so it's very comfortable when you wear it and these are actual mother of pearl shells and these beads aren't plastic they're glass so I was very pleasantly surprised and so it came with these little simple earrings here which I guess is fitting because um, you know when you have a necklace this huge you don't want a super large earring and so it's big it's very 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 big and so pretty so pretty and again you can see pictures of me wearing it on Facebook and Instagram um I got a lot of compliments on this necklace and again since it's handmade you can kind of play with it like you can adjust the pedals you know what I mean like you can move things around so I was playing with it a bit you can move it the way you like it you see what I'm saying it's really nice so I was very pleasantly surprised and I really did get a lot of compliments on it um, 
there's this lady at my job now stalking me. She's like, where did you get that? Like, she's really into handmade jewelry and stuff like that. So she's just like, where did you get that? I need that. I have to have that. So trendyfashion.zone, Z-O-N-E. Um, I think if you're... If your style is more boho chic, I'm more of a city bling kind of girl, but if you're more boho chic, um, you will love this stuff. And so, the, let me continue here. The seller also sent me these really pretty earrings that she made for me, which I thought was really cute. I guess this was like a free gift of purchase. These are really cute. And again, I was surprised because they're heavy. So, let me untwist it. It came in like this little baggie here. And this is the earring here. Really cute. It's like a purplish stone and these are glass. So these have a nice little weight to them. And I really, really like them. You can get an idea there. About the size. These are really pretty. And it just so happens that I bought a dress and this matches my dress perfectly. So, I'm really happy about that. Um, these are beautiful. And again, she was just nice enough to toss them in with the order, which I think was really sweet. And so the last piece I picked, before I give you some more thoughts, was another necklace set. And I'll start off by showing you the earrings because I like these earrings better than the last pair. These are the earrings. These are really cute. Again, this isn't my normal style, but the quality of the beads is so good that I really like these. So, that was the earring. And, this is the necklace. Look at that. Oh, my God. This is gorgeous. And look at the fire coming off of these crystals. Like, it's just beautiful. And this one has a... Uh, what do you call this clasp? Kind of like a toggle style clasp. Which is kind of cool. And this is like a twisted rope material. Yeah. So, I mean, you can tell this is handmade. And it's really big. Really, really big. Um, this is definitely a statement necklace. The only issue I have with this is that you have to be careful because these little pieces here can come off. That's the back. So you can tell it's completely handmade. And this, to me, this is the prettiest part. These stones right here. And you can see, look at the fire. Like I said, I was so impressed with the quality of this jewelry. I really was. Um, and, you know, the only thing I don't really like about this necklace is the clasp is a little hard. I don't know if I feel safe in its security. So let me. It tangles in my hair, but. Look at that. It's friendly for us busty girls. <laughs> but yeah, this is really pretty. Um, I also got compliments on this one. People were like, where did you get that? I need that necklace. Oh my god, I've never seen anything like it. It's very, very pretty. Very, very pretty necklace. Love it. Now, uh, another question I did get was how are you going to wear something like that? What are you going to style it with? The answer is something simple. Um, these pieces are very loud. Um, in the pictures of me wearing the other one, I just had on a simple black shirt and black jeans. I would suggest neutrals, like, you know, just a plain dress or a plain sweater or a plain t-shirt. I wouldn't wear this with, like, a leopard print or, like, a zebra print or any kind of print, really. Um, and the only thing with these necklaces is you have to store them properly, otherwise you're going to damage them. They're so big that you really need to store them, like, in a drawer or, like, laying down or, you know, it's not... I wouldn't suggest keeping those necklaces in these baggies. Not at all, because they're going to get damaged. You would kind of need a box more like this. You know, just a box. A jewelry box. Now, in my box, I have a, 
other jewelry, obviously. This box has already got something in it. This is the one with my pearls in it, actually. But, you know, it's worth buying a box or, you know, you can put down some paper in a drawer and store these in a drawer. I think that'd be really nice because you want to keep these. Like, if you try to cram them in a bag, I mean, you can hang them as well, but for these type of huge necklaces, I think it's better to just have them laying down in a drawer or in a box because other than that, they're going to get damaged. Um, the only negative criticism, and it's not even really negative, it's just that... Um, when browsing the website, I wish that there was more variety. Like, I didn't really see anything that was necessarily my style. Um, I wish there were more options, you know. And I do wish she had these necklaces in different colors. Like, one of these in black and white, or like black, white, and cream, or black, white, and baby pink would have been gorgeous. I would definitely purchase these again, especially if they were in different colors. Um, the first one I showed you, if she had this one in, like, different color options, that would have been amazing, like a nude or neutral color. Oh my gosh, it would have been so pretty. Um, I would have loved it. But I understand these are handmade pieces and they probably take forever to make, so, <laughs> you know, I don't think she's sitting there with, like, uh, 50, 50 necklaces ready to go, you know what I mean? And I don't know if she's going to do custom orders. You know, I don't know how that works. I can't tell you guys the last time I made a handmade piece of jewelry. My goodness. But, yeah, um, the site was easy, secure, shopping. You didn't have to worry. Um, the prices were very reasonable, especially for the quality. I wish the pictures were better because, honestly, the pieces are much better in person. The pictures don't do them justice whatsoever. Um, I just wish she had a little bit more variety. Like, I would classify her store as, like, TrendyFashion.Zone, the store is more, to me, it's more boho, more, not vintage, but more, not hippie, but, like, more boho. Like, there's many things that are beaded and handmade. Definitely different. Like, if you don't like to walk up the street and see someone with, the, thing, the same thing you've got on, then this is your site. You know what I mean? Like, it's not going to be like eBay or, you know, you're not going to find things that you would find in Forever 21, um, which is good, you know? And if you're in a jewelry rut like I was, you know, you're looking at your jewelry box and you're just like, hmm, it's all kind of the same, or hmm, I've seen 13 other girls wearing this, or hmm, I'm tired of wearing, you know, I want something really different this is the place to go because I definitely am not in a jewelry rut anymore <laughs> um, and again people just kept complimenting me on this stuff like literally stopping me in the streets like where did you get that and that's a huge compliment in New York City if people stop you in the street and want to know where you got something yeah so that's it guys I will link the information below where you can buy these necklaces and plenty of other items they're there are tons of other items there for you to shop. And, um, again, there's a discount code with my name. I will post that as well. And let me know what you guys think. If you guys purchase from TrendyFashion.Zone, let me know what you think. I would love to see photos. Like, oh, my God, I would love to see photos. Um, let's see here. I do have a piece of paper. I always say that's it, and it's never it. Do you guys notice that? I just noticed that. Um, but they have a newsletter... Also, so you can get sales and product updates, which is cool. But I will flash the website here. It's just in case someone can't understand me. This is where the jewelry is from. <laughs> All the jewelry I have shown you has come from this website. Woo! And so, yes, my overall impression is that I love it. I love it. It's worth it. Um, I just hope she gets more jewelry. Like, the lady who owns the store, her name is Veronica, which I have totally forgotten to mention. But her name is Veronica, and she's a really sweet lady. Um, and she's very talented, obviously. Like, I just can't believe Veronica made this stuff. Like, this is crazy. I could never make something like this. And, um, Veronica, thank you. Make more jewelry, please, because I am loving this stuff. And I'm a New York girl. I need some black and white. <laughs> And I need more bling, okay? Like, you need to, like, throw some crystals on there. You know, just just give me sparkle and give me black and white. And, and I will be, like, your number one customer. So, um, yeah. If you like what you see, check out the links below. 
I am going to cool off a bit, turn some of these lights out for a minute, and then I will get back to filming because I know a lot of you are like, where have you been? What's going on? So I'll come back with that. Talk to you later.